So this is a little experiment I saw posted elsewhere and I'm going to try and copy it for my own soils. That tray will have aged horse manure. This tray will have the garden soil that I have in my garden. This will have aged vermicompost. It's about two years old at this stage. This will have leaf mould. This tray will have commercially available compost. And this tray will have a mix of horse manure, leaf mould and vermicompost. The idea is to uh, bury cotton briefs or cotton underpants or a cotton t-shirt or whatever into the different soils and I guess the theory is the more uh, soil microbiology and the more active it is that the trays have, the quicker the briefs will break down. So the first tray I'm setting up is the one with the commercially available compost. And all I'm doing is putting the briefs about a third of the way down and covering to the top. Once I've got all this set up, I'm then going to wet everything down and leave it for a month or so. I'll come back in about a month and have a look and compare how they're getting on. And I think in the experiment online that I saw, I think it was two months they revealed the results. But we'll just keep checking in every month or so. Four weeks is about enough time that we should see some sort of change. This is horse manure which is at least a year old. Now I'm just roughly hand sifting it because I don't want any worms in these trays. If you have a look at the playlist of my channel, Worms Ate My Clothes, we know that worms will devour uh, cotton t-shirts, cotton sweaters, denim jeans. They've no problem eating that at all. So really I don't want any worms in here because we know they'll eat the brief but it's uh, it, this is just more about the microbiology so no worms allowed and I'm doing this in the pouring rain so I hope you guys appreciate the lens I go to to do these little experiments and the hardships I go through. Little worm there will get rid of him. That's that tray ready. aged horse manure and like I say it's it's at least a year old this is the leaf mold one and that's actually quite dry I don't really do anything with this our local council bags up leaves but it, unfortunately they also sweep up a load of rubbish as well they leave the bags at the side of the pavement and then another council truck comes along usually quite late at night or very early in the morning 1 2 a.m. and collects up all the bags and I try and get there before the council truck does and relieve them of some of the bags and then I sift out the rubbish leave the leaves in a Dalek bin and just let them break down so these leaves are probably two to three years old I would say and uh, I should have wet this bin down I'm guessing a bit earlier because uh, or a bit sooner because it does seem quite dry maybe the leaf mold will be a bit more broken down than what it is still it's good stuff and it's what I use to put a, a surface layer like a mulch on top of the garden beds up to this year but this year I'm actually growing green manure so the next tray to be set up is the one which is a mix of the one-year-old horse manure, the two-year-old leaf mould and I'm going to take some fresh vermicompost from the uh, No Rules worm bin so that's a mix of the leaf mould and uh, horse manure 
and then I'm just going to put a layer of the horse, uh, not horse manure, vermicompost on top. Now what I don't want to do is spend ages sifting out the vermicompost, uh, sifting the worms out from the vermicompost and sieving it. You can see, no matter where I put my hand and no matter how deep down I go, this bin is absolutely heaving with worms. If you watched the last update on the No Rules Worm Bin, I dumped a massive bag of uh, windfold apples in here. I also tested, this is a separate uh, issue, but I tested the pH of that bedding. And it's between 7 and 8, roughly 7.5 or thereabouts. So the massive amount of malic acid which the apples released over the last month or so hasn't changed the pH of the bedding at all. I'm trying to find a spot where there's not many worms that I can just put a handful or two of this vermicompost into that tray. It seems there's fewer of them down the side. Any of them I do see I'll, I'll just remove. And if I spot any later, during any of the checks, I'll just remove them as well. Because there's no point in having them in the tray for this experiment. Like I say, we know they'll devour the briefs. But it is a bit of a job trying to find a spot where there's uh, vermicompost but no worms. Which tells me they're thriving in that bin, despite the fact that there's never been any grit added, there's never been any lime added, there's never been any calcium added to neutralize any acid. The worms are absolutely thriving. Probably a little bit upset now with the rain, but I'm sure they don't mind. It's all for science. There's only one or two apples left that are actually recognizable as an apple, so I'm going to have to find a big feed for this bin very soon or they won't be happy and they'll start leaving. They're used to being well fed now. Going back to a few lettuce leaves is not going to cut it with these guys. But you can see everywhere I turn, every handful I pick up, absolutely heaving with worms. Healthy, thriving worms. But I just don't want to spend ages sifting worms out of this to get a couple of handfuls of um, compost, so I'm doing it quite roughly. I think that will probably do. Take those few little worms out, put them back. So that's the mix of all three and it was around this point that my phone died, the battery ran out. And it's also, this was recorded quite late in the afternoon so it's also starting to get dark so I had to run in and charge up the phone, get about 20% in so I could get it finished before it got dark. So that's the stored vermicompost, if you watched any of my videos again you'll know I don't uh, sieve my vermicompost, I just store it rough however it is it is because it breaks down over time itself. That's the mixture there, that's the, what one is that, that's the leaf mould, that's the uh, aged horse manure and that's uh, from the garden this is it's got some stones in it and a little bit of straw I picked this from around the strawberry bed but all the beds get amended apart apart from the addition of straw all the beds are amended in the, in the same way so it'll give me a good indication of what the rest of the beds look like so that's all six trays there and what we'll do is I'll probably do an update in about a month just to see what of any difference we notice 
and uh, an update the following month and see how we go from there. Okay, as always, thanks for watching. Bye for now.